Breaking news now, an equity group is betting big on strong profits in 2018 as it shows up performance of its subsidiaries. The bank announced at its AGM that it has passed a resolution approving the setup of the employee share ownership scheme structure for Equity Bank Congo. The bank also declared a first and final dividend for the year ended 31st of December of two shillings payable to shareholders as and when this is released continue to have consistent growth. And uh, last year, we were able to add an additional 1 million customers to end up with 12.1 million customers. The best performance came from our subsidiaries, and we see Uganda increasing its profit uh, during the year by 81%, uh, DLC Congo increasing its profitability by 63%, Luanda increasing its profitability by 80%. Tanzania had just gone through the elections like us, uh, 17%. And South Sudan, uh, which we had put on maintenance, also improving by 121. So between the subsidiaries, they increased their profitability by 126%. And that explains that uh, in spite of the turbulence we had in Kenya, we could leverage on the performance of our subsidiaries. We shall give you a much better year uh, in 2018. Well, interesting times indeed for the banking sector. Let's come to some matters to do with conservation now. And in a sad twist on matters wildlife, poachers successfully managed to kill three rhinos Wednesday night in an incident that happened at around 6.30 p.m. at the Rhino Sanctuary in Meru National Park. Well, on a security evaluation visit at the Kenya Wildlife Service Headquarters, Cabinet Secretary for Tourism and Wildlife, Najib Balala, delivered a report on the state of poaching in the country and confirmed that the daring attack got the attention of security teams in the area. Carcasses of the two adult black rhinos and a calf with their horns missing were found on first sight. Well, this comes even as the Cabinet Secretary reported that efforts by the government in conservation led to an 85 to 78% reduction in rhino and elephant poaching, respectively. The CS father added that the security teams were still on hot pursuit of the gang of poachers with boosted surveillance. Indeed, quite not a good development there for Kenya's wildlife. Let's take it now to some issues around devolution. Well, governors drawn from 10 counties and devolution, Cabinet Secretary Eugene Omalwa toured Garissa County in an effort to bring development in the region. Well, this particular visit will see the World Bank, which will be sponsoring development projects in the various counties that will be assisting in areas such as construction, agriculture, and the real estate sectors. Well, the projects will cost 120 billion shillings. And it's also important to mention that in addition to these new NERI projects, we have already other implementing World Bank projects in the NERI counties. Some of these have been referenced already. This is totaling 1.4 billion, and it includes support to devolution, youth employment, health system, education, urban development, trade, and pastoral livelihood. This is an area which has historically been underserved and is performing below national average on development indicators. We take note that the World Bank is already investing about 20% and this we are talking about close to US dollars 1.4 billion of its current US dollars 6.9 billion commitment in the Navy counties. After devolution, this would be the second largest transformative investment in our region. Ladies and gentlemen, the population of these counties covered by the Navy projects are very excited and are now getting the true feeling of being